Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about the kid, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet. Need more when you get to the junction. Here comes the junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. It is run by Joe, come and be his guest at the junction. Here's a lady in the she's as pretty as can be at the junction. Ready, call junction. <laughs> that you're wearing it. Uh, you don't like it? Uh -huh. Take this. Strictly male chauvinism. <laughs> well, it's good to have you home anyway. Steve. Hmm? Oh, never mind. You wouldn't understand. Well, try me. Well, I finally found myself, and I'm the equal of any man. Oh, okay, well, you get the big bang, and I'll get the little one. <laughs> Too bad. What do you mean? You lost all your clothes and had to borrow this old suit from Jerry. <laughs> no, I didn't lose all my clothes. You lost a bet. <laughs> no. Well, I had a hunch I'd have trouble with you men. Well, you understand, don't you? Uh, yes. In a way. <laughs> oh, I think it's a gorgeous outfit. Probably the latest thing. Why are you wearing it? <laughs> well, I might have known it would need an explanation. <laughs> like that once. Came with two pair of pants and threw in a baseball bat. Yeah, well, you just can't get pies like that anymore. No, them days are going forever. It looks lovely. Well, it should. We've been knocking ourselves out. What's your explanation? What? You were going to explain the outfit you're wearing. Oh. Well, it's just that I've come out for the liberation of women. No longer will they take their oppressed place in a male-dominated society. Oh, very good. Didn't you think so? Joe and I aren't applauding. <laughs> no, look, it's me, Billy Joe. Well, don't mind him. He probably thinks you're a salesman. <laughs> Hi, boy. <laughs> the true equality of women, that's what it's all about. Half of the human race is oppressed. The female half. I didn't know that. Did you know that? Well, you know it, Janice, don't you? Well, I, I'm not sure, really. Well, of course you are. You know that although women comprise 51% of the population, they are in the minority. You want proof? Who have all the menial jobs? Women. And who are the fat cats? Men. Although 13% of men earn $10,000 a year or more, only one quarter of 1% of the working women earn as much. That's terrible. What are we going to do about it? Fight! That doesn't sound very ladylike. And that's another thing. We are not ladies, we're women. Lady is a term.
term coined by men to restrict us. A lady doesn't do this. A lady doesn't do that. Baldy dash. <laughs> what was that? Baldy dash. Laura C. Knudsen says it all the time. And who is Laura C. Knudsen? Our beloved leader. The founder of Women in True Cultural Heritage. Who is that? Women in True Cultural Heritage. W-I-P-C-H. It's a great name. Fitch. <laughs> They're so stupid, all of them. They think they're so special, so different. Well, they'll find out. We're all the same, equal. Janet? Well, actually, we are different, and that's the way it's supposed to be. Otherwise, God wouldn't have created both men and women. Let's get back to the fighting. How are we going to do it? Every way we can. Assume all the prerogatives of men. We'll even let them know that we're willing to stand alone if necessary. And what does that mean? Well, some of the more militant members of the organization advocate complete segregation from men. Complete segregation? You mean even including sex and marriage? Everything. Yes? No way. <laughs> I agree. I mean, if we're not going to marry men, who else is there? <laughs> Don't worry. That's not going to happen. We're just letting them know that we're invading their world. And they better like it or lose it. Billy Joe, may I ask you a question? Yes? What does Jerry think of all this? Who? Jerry, the dream man, the number one. The one who made those six long weeks in Chicago bearable. Oh, him. <laughs> That's enough. Those two words tell it all. <laughs> Well, I tell you, Steve, I don't get a head like yours very often. I gotta go check the picture. Who you patterned him after? One of them movie stars? Yep. Don Amici? Nope. Mia Farrow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't joke, watch it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Guess what, you fellas? Well, you never guess in a million years. So cut out the game and tell us what it is. Billy Joe's coming here. Here? You're kidding. A woman in my barbershop? Never. Billy Jo knows better than that. She knows no woman's ever come in here. That's why she's coming here. She says it's high time that women broke down the barriers of masculine exclusivity. <laughs> what do you think of that, Grandpa? <laughs> my sentiments exactly. Like the door said. <laughs> well, no, wait a minute. You can't do that. It's against the law. What am I going to do? Do you mind a suggestion from Mia Farrell? Oh, anything, anything. You got any more of those cigars, Joe? I have a few. Hey, yeah, we can smoke her out. All right, pass them out, Joe. Well, it could all die in a process. It's in a good cause, though. What's the matter with you? I, I, I never smoked a cigar before. Ah, oh, go ahead and smoke it. It won't hurt you. You're striking a blow for mankind, all right? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
complete equality of women and men. You refuse to be dominated by the male, and you are determined to keep your own identity. Equality? Refuse to be dominated? And keep my own identity? <laughs> Waiting for you. We do have a date to go to the movies, you know. Well, I know, but when a fellow has a date, he's supposed to go to the door and get it. Not anymore. But you made such a big thing of it just the other night about me sitting in the Jeep honking. You said that I should come to the door. That's all passe. <laughs> you said yourself that a gentleman always calls for a lady. Now on, there are no more gentlemen and ladies. What? We're all just men and women. Huh? Right. We're all equal. You're no different from me, and I'm no different from you. Understand? No. Well, if you say so. <laughs> Stop it, you. Get in. Here. We ran out of gas. <laughs> oh, give me that old stuff. I heard that story before. <laughs> okay, so we didn't run out of gas. Well, let's get going. I wanna, I wanna catch the cartoon. <laughs> See, the woman can be the aggressor too. Yeah, now she can be the aggressor. <laughs> this way, you won't dominate me anymore. Is that, is that what I've been doing? Before, I was in danger of losing my identity. <laughs> oh, well, we wouldn't want that to happen. Sometimes, when a woman gets married, she loses her identity completely. Who? Due? due to the husband dominating their lives. It gets so bad that you can't tell where the husband leaves off and the, and the wife begins. Well, I, I don't think we're going to have that problem. You don't? No. Well, who's the little bad just? Husband... What? <laughs> so can we just go to the movie? Orin, please watch it. You're dominating me again. <laughs> so go when I'm good and ready. <laughs> She doesn't want to lose her identity. If I didn't want it, you wouldn't be able to tell us apart. <laughs> See you, Bob. Go get me some popcorn. <laughs>
talking about you. I was talking about women. Well, for your information, that's my team. <laughs> I've noticed. And believe me, that's what makes it all worthwhile. What? Oh, all the, the putting up with. All the little uh, idiosyncrasies. Uh, all the... Uh, I don't think that I care to go on with this conversation. Well, I do. You know, this is quite a revelation to me. You really have a low opinion of women, don't you? Well, I wouldn't want my sister to marry one. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't. Well, oh, honey, I was just joking. Come on, let's forget it. No, let's not forget it. I'm beginning to think my sister is right. We do have to stand up for ourselves. We do have to fight. You're not thinking of joining that cockamamie group of hers. That is just what I am thinking. Do you have anything to say to that? You bet I do. For your information, young lady, I'm your husband, and that makes me your lord and master. I didn't make up those rules. That's just the way it is. And if you don't like it, then this room is not big enough for the two of us. <laughs> Sorry I came up with that idea, because I just got a tall flash as to which one of us is leaving. <laughs> Right over there by the door. Shouldn't we ask Mr. Drucker first? Absolutely not. Laura C. Knudsen says strike first. Ask permission afterwards. Laura C. the gas. <laughs> Hi, girls. What are you doing here? We're here to ask you a favor, Mr. Drucker. Well, just name it and you've got it. Oh, you're wonderful. Thanks a lot. We know we can count on you. Well, now, hold it. Hold it. What did I agree to? What can you count on me for? For letting us hold our women's rights rally right here in this store. Now, just a doggone minute. Oh, thanks a million. Now, look, I just... And what's that? What's going on here? Oh, hi, Miss Wilson, Mrs. Frisbee. What is this? Well, just a simple announcement. Oh, oh I'm gone at Betty Jo. You don't know what kind of a spot they're putting me in. In what way? Well, if I allow the women to gather here, I'll have every man in the valley sore at me. Wouldn't you rather have the men sore at you instead of... Well, women like Miss Wilson and Mrs. Frisbee, who might take their business elsewhere if you didn't allow us to hold a rally here? I've got my principles. <laughs> well, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, hear me out. Uh, okay, uh, you can use this door. <laughs> Say, pal, you want to take him back? Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, 
thank goodness. You know, for a while I was afraid that Mrs. Hanson was going to have the last baby born in the valley. <laughs> Oh, thank you.